up, YouTube? What's up, pocketbook lovers? What's up, purse lovers? What's up, accessory lovers? What's up, lovers of Dooney and Burke? This is your girl, Aunt. Um, Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, what's up? But if you've been here before, you know why you're here. You're here because I want to show you this bag. This bag is a yummy bag. I've been eyeing this bag for a long time, and I have not seen any... um. And the YouTube videos on it, but QVC, of course, and um, Dooney Attic 615. Now, Dooney Attic 615 did a video on this bag. She has one in the color natural. And in her intro, she said, I have one in bone. I have one in black. I have one in red. And that was her natural. And of course, not this one, but she had a natural. And of course, that means I've watched it like 5,000 times if I know her words. Who does that? I do because I wanted this bag. Now I wasn't sure which one I wanted. I seen one in violet. Um, I seen one in baby pink. I didn't want a baby pink corresponding bag. I mean, that's just me. I didn't want it. Um, and I didn't I didn't know what I wanted, but I wanted something that was neutral because I have a red, I have two red crossbodies and a tan one and a, a natural. So I wanted another crossbody, but this one kept catching my eye, like my heart was saying, Ah, get it, please. But I didn't know what color. Talked to my homegirl on the Dooney Easter Den, the pecan tan, asked her for her advice. We we decided the bone, a, a whole bone bag and a crossbody wasn't going to work for me simply because I wear a lot of colors. Color transfer, that was going to happen. So what I decided to do was um, look for something else. And this happened, I happened to strike a conversation with a, a lady on, a, on one of the Dooney um, Facebook pages. And here we go. I got it. All right, so let's talk about this bag. This is a very big bag. I love it. It's in chestnut, and it's a Dunienberg Florentine saddle bag. Um, what I love about this bag is the back of the bag is huge. You remind me of a coach bag I used to have. Um, and here is the back of the bag. You can put a lot of stuff in the back of the bag. Um, it has a magnetic, magnetic snap, and they're really, really like, ooh, you see that? Okay. The front pockets, let me tell you, I could put some stuff in here because I tried last night. And inside the bag, inside the bag is deep. You could put a lot of stuff in it and they give you a key ring thing. This bag, when it was, um, it had so for $368. And I got it really good. I paid like $137 for it with shipping. And I remember the the um, Dooney Attic 615 says, if you can grab your hand on one of these bags, I promise you, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Who memorizes people's lines? I just, because I wanted this bag. So anyway, so this bag is delicious. I wanted something that was that could go with anything. I already have a natural. I have red crossbody. I have a tan. But for some reason, I like this. And here's the duck right here. So, um, I've seen this bag before, and it didn't have the extended strap because what, what I love about this this one is that you could shorten the strap, and I'm gonna show you in a second. It didn't have it. I almost got that bag, but but some told me not to, and I'm glad I didn't because you really do need this extended strap. Let me show you how it looks crossbody. So as a crossbody bag, this is how it looks. It comes right here, and I have it on the lowest end, I think. Yeah, I don't have it all, oh no, I'm lying. But I like my crossbody bags here. You could extend it to make it um, as long as you want. But for me, that's the longest, that's the, yeah, that's, I have it on the, the highest. That's it, because I'm short, I'm 5'3", so I don't need it to be any lower than this. I mean, I probably can, but I think this is enough, right? I think that's enough. So, now, real quick. It does have the, um, the so what you want to do, like if you are out um, all day, out wherever you are, this is the bag that you use, and you are cross bodying it all through town, you take it off. Um, and it's evening and you don't feel like cross riding anymore, you shorten the strap. And let me show you what I meant by that. Let's let's bring it down to the one, two, three, the fourth one. 
So here's it as a shoulder. See how it is falls as a shoulder? This is really nice as a shoulder. But I also like it as a crossbody. So I would have been mad if I got it without the missing with missing the strap. So here it is as a um a back of course, you know, just a regular shoulder bag if you don't feel like wearing it as a, a crossbody to to you know after you are done. So I'm really happy that I was able to add this bag into my collection because I've seen them before. I've seen them out there, but the price points are always high. Um, I've seen them from $199, $200, blah, blah, but um, I didn't want to pay that much. So when, you know, being to, able to find this bag in excellent condition, let me tell you, this bag looked like the lady bought it and decided maybe she wore it one time and was like, oh, I don't know about this bag. This, it's like brand, it smells divine. It's like brand, brand spanking new. For real, y'all. For real. I was so excited. I sent her a message. I said, thank you, sweetie. This was amazing. Like, I love this bag. So anyway, grab you one. You will not be disappointed. And grab the color that works for you. Um, I think this color work would work for me if I'm going for a neutral look. Um, as opposed to a pop of color because mm. you know i'm learning that i don't always need to have a lot of i mean depending on you know we have the right you know you reserve the right as a human being to change your mind you don't have to remain the same you know just because you like bright colors um bags you can change your mind and start going go you know you don't you hate when people hold you to certain things and they said yeah i thought you did <laughs> I thought you like bright colors, yes, but I reserve the right to change um, my mind. So with that being said, reserve the right to have a fabulous day today. Um, it is within your birthright to be happy, you know? So go out there, make it fabulous. Um, make somebody smile, make your own self smile, and reserve the right to do what you want to do as long as it's intentional. As long as it's positive and it's bringing joy. You got there. You know what you have to do. Make it fabulous.